Alright, so this is a quick video on how to calibrate your BL Touch or IR probe uh, for the Rail Core 2. I'm um, going to show you how to, to set the, uh, the probe offsets here. So, start out, just take a piece of paper, uh, put it underneath, and I've, I've jogged to the center of my bed here. Uh, and then I'm going to use the, I use the uh, panel do, but you can do it from the web interface, and I'm just going to jog down. Uh, and you just want to jog until the nozzle just grips a sheet of paper. So right there I can feel it's it's just grabbing that sheet of paper. Um, just a little bit of resistance. And there I'm, I'm definitely good. So now I've got that piece of paper gripped. I want to leave it still. And I'm just going to, without moving the paper at all, come in here and mark right where that nozzle is. And I put a mark on the two sides as close to it as I can get it with with a pencil. I don't want to turn the paper now. So I've marked that and then you want to mark your probe tip the same way. So right there I've marked the probe. Now jog up Actually, before we jog up, let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and jog up five millimeters. I'm going to move ten millimeters to the right. Or, oops, it wasn't to the right. Ten millimeters to the right, twenty millimeters to the right. And I'm just going to mark that same spot again. Okay. So, going to go back to the left. Go back down five, and I'm sitting right back where I was. So I've got my paper marked, um, and you can do this in two steps. I'm just trying to do it all in one here, so that's why it's a little confusing. So I've got my spot marked where my nozzle is, and my DL touch. I marked spot to the right, uh, 20 millimeters. I'm going to close that, and then I'm going to run a macro I call probe point. So I remove the paper, and I run the probe point macro. It sets zero, it lifts up five millimeters, and then it probes that point, and it will stop somewhere. And just write down the point that it stopped at, which that was 2.63. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line between my points, which I had a point here. That's this is my original nozzle point. I know it's a little hard to tell. This is my second nozzle point, and I'm just going to draw a straight line. You're not going for exact here. Um, you can be a little bit off a millimeter or two. It doesn't make a big difference. Um, ignore this mark. That's from previous. Or, wait, no, that is the mark. Uh, yeah, that would be my BL touch. So, I have my nozzle offset to my BL touch in Y my nozzle offset to my BL touch in Z or in X which is going to be about a millimeter and I can measure this using my calipers uh, this line here is just a reference point and then I'm going to in my G31 change whatever my Z value is to that so here's my X difference which is about one millimeter my Y difference which I'll measure with my calipers is probably about ten millimeters um, and then my Z value here that I got from running the probe point macro. So that's it. That's how you calibrate it.